I have a very, 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 very important message for those who are on the up and up. You are on the rise or you feel like you are ascending and something big, something amazing is about to happen. But, 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 ooh, ah, hold on. I have to talk to you guys because I feel like a lot of you guys are in preparation phase. So as I was getting into you guys energy space and this is for, uh, this is more like a collective message. Okay. So listen, okay. Now someone in a little while or some group or some people, whoever are going to try to associate themselves with you. Okay. So when I was getting a word to describe the energy, first it started with associate. Then I had three other words to come along with it. Okay. So let's start from the beginning. The first one is affiliate, affiliate or affiliate. Okay. This is what someone wants to do with you. Could be romantic, could be business, could be friendship, whatever. Okay. So when I looked up affiliate, it's officially attach or connect with. Okay. So that's with a person or with an organization. Right. But then I got this second word. Now this word is an, as an urban term or it's a slang term. Um, clout okay some of you guys are about to have people who want to affiliate with you because of clout now what is clout clout is like you know they want to connect with you because of uh the benefits that it brings them the fame the uh, attention or any of that kind of stuff but really based on like attention okay more so and then we have associations now when i looked up associations connect with some Thing else in one's mind. Let me say that again. Connect with something else in mind. What does this mean? Well, showing to me like this. Someone wants to connect with you because they have something else in mind. You need to pay attention to what that something else in mind is. You're going to have to fill in that blank. Okay. So for example, um, when I was looking up the definitions and getting some examples, the, one of the examples was someone associates wealth with freedom, right? Okay. Someone's looking at you saying, well, we associate you with, and then you fill in the blank, which leads us to our fourth word benefits. Okay. Now what is the benefit of this person attaching themselves to you? Whether it be a friend of me, whether it be a hater, whether it be a good business association, no matter what it is, what are the benefits? Start to understand the benefit of being you and the benefit that other people get by just standing by you, by just knowing you, by even sharing the last name. What are the benefits of association? Okay. But then for you, some of you all, what are the downfalls of association? Okay. You associating yourself or becoming an affiliate with the wrong thing, or there's no benefit for you, but everyone else gets to benefit off you. Okay. Parasitic type energy. Okay. Watching this, you're watching this. This is important. It's coming through really strong. Okay. Um, what else was there? Okay. So I was told to give this example. Um, let me give you how this thing could work. When I was in school, um, I took a speech class. Now I was, according to the professor, the best speaker in class. Okay. Everybody kind of agreed. And I, you know, I agree too a little bit, you know? So as the best speaker in class, it was time to give the end of the semester presentation where it's worth 30% of the entire grade. When he told us our teams, guess what? He put me with the lowest two students in the class. One of them was from another country, could barely speak English. The other one was really shy and couldn't even look up and didn't never project her voice. Okay. So he put the best student in class and he made an affiliate association with the lowest two students in class. Why? Because of my affiliate power. Okay. That's another key term that I was told to give you guys affiliate power. This is the ability to pull someone up just because you are who you are. I was the best. So naturally, if you put the worst with the best, a good leader is going to pull them up. Right? So instead of them getting an F on this huge presentation, they both got an A. Let me take it a step further. They were failing the class, but because this grade was worth so much, if they got a good grade on this speech, then they would get able, they would stop failing the class and they would pass. So because he put them with me, I helped them to get a good grade on the speech, which in turn raised their grade from a failing grade to a passing grade. That's the power of being with the right person. Guess what? Some of y'all are that right person. And some of y'all are going to have the ability to pull people up just from you being who you are, showing them, okay, this is how you project your voice. This is what you need to do. That's what you need to do because you're called to that leadership, right? And they get to benefit. But then there's a flip side where there are people like, ooh, I want to go get with the best of the best. Let me get up there with you. 
Because just standing by some of y'all, just knowing your name, just having the same last name as I was saying with some of you guys, there's going to be benefit, clout, association, all of these things were coming. And you see I'm all animated with it because this is not a game. Welcome to the promised land. But please understand, there are people who are physically there, but are not uh, spiritually aware. Oof. They're physically there, but not spiritually aware. Mm.